Okay, well I'm at an auction and there's one thing that consistently happens when I'm at an auction, rain. And I haven't checked the radar to see when this stuff's going to quit. May not quit all day, I don't know. But anyways, let's go check some tractors out. There's two look kind of eye appealing to me. Well, first things first, we'll start with a 450. And uh, he's got his junk bucket in the front of it. I guess that's added weight. I'd get rid of that. That'd drive me nuts, and then I'd get some cheek weights here. Um, steers, yeah, they're okay, I guess. This side looks good as far as the scans go. Let's check the other side here. Um, yeah, they're 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 of equal value. And then we got a wheel center there. I don't know what that is, but uh, yeah, just looking, checking stuff out. Looks like new-ish hoses to the remote. And the bowl looks reasonably clean. Not sure what that is. Oh, that's paint. That's pop cam paint. No need for that. Um, he is running an electronic ignition in this. Because that's a flamethrower. And that should be 3 ohm. Yeah, electronic ignition. Okay. We can live with that all day long. We got 15 538, so that's cool. And uh, rims look good. Wheel weights, as you can see, they're Galaxy skins. And uh, he's hooked to a four bottom here. This is not a 411, okay? Unless he changed this main beam right here. And I don't know, can't see a guy going out of his way to do that. We saw a three bottom down at the Mercer County plow day last year and this I believe is the four bottom version of that plow um, that's a lot of plow for a 450 but apparently it did it and uh, I don't know I get really ambitious I'll climb up there and start at the keys in it this be interesting this be an interesting machine to have it's not restored it's a field tracker let's walk to the other side Put some front cheek weights on it some front wheel weights on there be good to go yeah just good honest tracker might even have power steering you know what i mean that's a game changer you need some clamps yeah that's a quick fix yeah we'll probably come back if i get a chance to start this up got the fenders and extensions that's key for getting on and off of it. Yeah, now we're at the other side here. Okay. I don't know. 450. I've never seen one sell it on. Well, no, I did. It was propane though. And I know who owns it. All right. I'm not sure what's going on here. I can't tell. I I don't think it's a restoration, but uh Definitely got good paint, that's for sure. I'm kind of loosely in the market for a Super A. I just don't know if it's this one. Eh, it goes for the right price, I'll take it home, but I'm looking for a Super A with a fast hitch. And a chrome stack up there. Them ain't cheap. Yep, got the front wheel weights here. Woods L59. I've heard people complain about those, but they're not brush hogs. Those are finish mowers. Yeah, get the ballast resistor there chains just a hanging and a dangling that's fine it must work um, that's nice on a rainy day actually and no holes in the seat the boot yeah if this thing had a fast hitch it's it's go I'm gonna I would Amish bid this and take it home yeah it's got the key in it too I think time permits we'll come back and fire these bad boys up and converted 12 volt yeah there you go skins are okay I mean, they ain't nothing to brag about, but you got rear wheel weights. Hey, come over here. We got 9N, a big fat hen. This looks, I mean, I can't speak for the engine, but this looks like it could be restored. A nut and bolt restoration. Anyway, clean bowl, man. If I was a first on race day, first kind of guy this might go home with me got a 190 
all his chalmers here. Got some funky ass stuff going on in the front there as far as weights. Big platform, Ford type platform, big long front end on these, man. It was hard to do a wheelie on an AC of this type, that's for sure. It's kind of why I left the front end sticking out on my H. Not that I'm going to ever cultivate with it, but kind of makes it like an Alice Chalmers cousin. Another first on race day here. Eh, this one don't look too bad. I mean, it's not a resto, but. But there you go. And you got a Bodie V6200. Another boater. Smooth skins, but it's a Bodie. Well, I guess what would the world be without the Devil's Tractor? 666. And uh, steers aren't good. Rears are good, though. At least on the plow side. Um, yep. Yeah. I'm just walking kind of tough not not the tractor i'm looking for at all by any means 766 probably man it's got outlets going every which way but loose okay that other this tire isn't that good the other one's good big old muffler on there good grief you could run an entire factory with scrubbers in that thing yeah and yeah, this is what the back looks like a couple remotes cat 2 Hong Kong Fu and 540. There you go. Well, this is going to be a first for me and hopefully a last. Somebody painted this sucker blue. Must have been Ford Freaks. First on race day. <laughs> oh man, old 140. 140 special. And it is special. Yeah. Yeah, they got it painted all up Ford like. Sheesh. Just get a Ford. You know, can't afford a Ford, then you get a 140 and paint it blue. And this thing's all ratted out. It's hard to say that, but it is. And there is a boatload of John Deere here. 720 power steering, AR. My voice is changing. I'm going through puberty. You'll have to find it in your heart to excuse me for that. 620 power steering. I don't know what that is. 30, 20, 30, 10. Doesn't look like a 40. Um, H, H ski. That's what the equivalent to probably what an A or a B in farm all land. And then some newer stuff there. Got a Mass Titus Harris 44 here. It looks really nice. I don't know if it was a resto or just a good paint job, but it's there. Got some rear wheel weights here. Well, why not have two videos in a row with a 560? This is gasser. And I noticed down here, fast hitch to three point, these are cat twos, they flare out. And I am assuming they're gonna sell those separate. They will be going home with me, Amish bid style. Good rear skins on here. Firestone, Goodyear in the front, Firestone in the rear, at least on this side. The theme has also been not matching tires, a lot of tractors, but yeah, definitely not in the market for a gasser. I mean, I don't know, what would I give 2,500 bucks for this tractor? Yeah, all day, I mean, but it, it ain't gonna go that. There is online bidding here too, set up for clamp on duels. So when you go down the road, you get the mud caught in between, you can flick it everywhere. 20 feet in the air. Let's go to the other side. Big old bulb right there. Holy camoly. Out of Denison, Ohio. C&D tractor sales. Okay. Holy crap. Somebody splurged, man. They went Firestone both sides. Good skins on there. Okay. We got, looks like new plugs, new distributor cap, new wires, and I would assume, if they're going to go through all that, new points, condenser, I would assume that without popping the cap, pop the top. And uh, we got some John Deere belts in there going on. Deer should always be in the rear, but it can also be under the hood. That's fine. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think it's junk. I just think it's a gasser. Senator Sassy Sasser. Remember him? Got a pretty decent looking soybean special here. Got the 
marker tires, press wheels, 21 hole, yeah, double disc, yeah, I mean it looks not only intact but in darn good shape, I must admit. No, I have not popped the top yet, but yeah. there you go, Hamilton, Ontario, where all these were made. This looks good, man. It show sure, show sure enough does. No grass cedar on it, but it's a soybean special, not a grass cedar special. Let's let's pop this for a minute. Maybe we'll be surprised. No, no, it looks good. Got oats in there. Different sprockets for different speeds, I suppose. Yeah, this looks good. Um, if this goes for less than 3500 somebody stole it. Got a real good deal on it. Okay, there's a 311 fast hitch plow. See the different the different beam? That's a heavier beam. A um, lot of caribou food on there. Probably one goat would clean that off in about five minutes. But yeah, that covers except here. Extensions. They're painted red. I'm not 100% sure why because two passes and they're painted silver. There you go. I mean, it is the th theme. 560. It's just got straight bar in the back. Swing and draw bar. Yeah, she rough. This one rough. Good steers, though. Holy crap, holy. Yeah, rears ain't no good, but steers sure are. Rob Peter to pay Paul. Okay. Yeah, we're missing sheet metal there. And... I mean, Rust Prevention 101. Let's see if this one's got the punch. Yeah, this has got the punch on it. And this is serial number 405. Keep the drive alive. And if you don't want comfort, oh, he's got a flamethrower here too. Get some slivers in your butt there you go all over 60. pretty basic straight pipe he just fired up the ac over there yeah just a swing and draw bar 540 pto just a basic these come pretty basic there you go i bet somebody takes her home for 1200 bucks a little tire replacement needed there but that ain't no big deal it's not a deal breaker, that's for sure. Especially if the price is right. Yeah, all the cultures are there. I mean, cover boards. No kidding. Well, shoot. Yeah, she holding a lot of water. They must got a could have been a rain this morning. I know coming in, it didn't rain till I got about halfway here. So, I don't know. Let's, uh, regular, what's going on here? I don't know. I honestly don't know what's going on there. Yeah, let's hop up on it. Oh, I like that. Seat looks very comfortable. Oh. I mean, well, he's got the seat slid back quite a bit, and that's, I guess that's nice. All right. What's this say? I cannot read it. Oh, lighter. Yeah. There you go, cigarette lighter. Well, let's make sure we're not in gear, and we're not. Key turn, boop, give it a hair choke, and then unchoke. Got the 666 over there fired up. Don't sound bad. Everybody start crackers today. Yeah, the gas was off. Uh, it just matters a lot. 
It's weird though, because I was still smelling gas even with the pet cock closed. So, yeah, that should probably do it. Let's get back up there and pop smoke. All right, I think she's gonna go now. Maybe too much choke. Need choke? There you go. Just needed some gas. Little hand shaker. We don't need to rev it up. You know, the 400, the 450, it always... Uh, my only complaint is, is the throttle. I mean, look, and of course it needs needs tightened up, spring or whatever, but from here to there, there's nothing. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, six notches before you go up at all. Wheeling, something needs tightening. Woo! Tell you what, I felt that front end get pretty light. I ain't gonna lie. But it picked it up and my umbrella. I get it. Got the old PVC special going on there for cup holder. Yeah, I don't know. They'll probably sell the tractor and, the, and then the plow. Maybe I buy the plow. Maybe. I can see getting that hitch. I've got, uh, that's big prong there. I got a big prong at home, but yeah, I can see getting that. There you go, 450. I am not saying that that cannot plow with a four bottom. Obviously it did. Um, but you better have good ground. Better have good ground. I, I don't think it's I don't think it's turning in clay, heavy clay. I just don't. Based on my mold board plowing experience. Years and years and years and years and years and years of doing it. Um, my ground could it? Yeah. That'd be all she wanted. I put the umbrella on there for extra weight just to really test her out. Well, let's see if this Super A runs any better. Got a chrome stack, it's gotta run good. Nice dry seat, I like that. Oh, it's hard as a rock, but hey, at least there's probably, I don't know, an inch cushion on there. And the shake us. A little choke us. Turn the key. Oh yeah. Come on. Didn't need choke long. Yeah, this is a runner here. Yeah, it's a little more responsive than the Okay, what are we doing? Okay, mower up. Mower down. Yeah. I mean, it... If you're looking for something to mow with, I'm not sure why the sheet metal's not. Looks like one of the clips is bent or something. I don't know. It sounds good. I mean, it it ain't junk. That's for sure. Yeah. Just a Super A mowing machine, that's what it is. Actually, let's put it in gear and go. 
reverse, second, fourth, third, first, no gear, first, umbrella, and we're up all the way. Actually, it could go further. Yeah. Either way. Huh. See that my heel catching. I got the clutch pushed in. My heel catching on that. That's that's odd to me. I've got an A, and I don't I don't think I got this footrest bar. I'd probably take that off of there. To be honest with you. It's just a Super A with a belly mower, that's what it is. That's what you're going to get right there. Skins aren't real good, but skins are never real good on tractors. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Shut her down. Oh, well, we got a little side bonus action going on here. They got a tractor show beside the auction. Yeah, got a Super A. Call Division, just regular tow bar. Cubby looks, I don't know, could be late 40s. Is that demonstrator? I don't know. It's white. That's that's what I know. Old BN double seater, restored by Don and Mike Lozier. Okay, Mike Lozier. That's the guy that runs the auction here. Owns it. Whatever. Built a little step up right there on both sides. Yeah, two seater. There you go. You need a pat on that side, but. I don't know if I'd ever want to be buckled in on one of these, man. Like I said, I'm not a good captain. I'm not going down with a ship. Good skins, but yeah, this is this is your parade special. Parade rest. Let me come over here. Got a Model H, John Deere. Yeah, looks pretty good. Ford, first on race day. Right here. Oh, Golden Jubilee 1953 right there. Always Chalmers CA. Another Ford right there. Got a space right here. They didn't want to mess with the cubby. Looks like it's kind of sort of set up for snow plowing. Straight bar back there. This, again, this looks a lot like my 48. And then in all his chalmers, that looks like a 45 WD 45. No, WD. Okay. Maybe they switched the shifter out there. I thought the WDs just had a straight shifter and the WD 45 had a curve shifter. It's not not that you couldn't, I guess, but yeah, real good skins on there. There you go. A pull. Right. So here we got a 706 loader gas. And guess what it's doing? Yeah, deer in the rear. What's that? Oh, I'm leaving the auction early. There's something I need to explain. Because if one guy has it confused and wrong, there's probably a hundred of you. Like one voter represents a hundred type deal. There's something called the letter of the law when it comes to being in a public venue. And the law says this, there's no expectation to privacy, none. Precedenting cases have already been established. It's done. That's the letter of the law. So the letter of the law you could deduce also would say that when you go in public, you're going to have your picture in potentially be on video. That's the letter of the law. Now there's the heart of the law. Somebody comes up and says, hey, I'm getting ready to bid on that back blade. 
is there any way you could not video me buying it? The heart of the law, which has to do with courtesy and respect, says, yeah, I'll put the camera away and give you the courtesy and respect you're asking for. But when you come at me with salt and vinegar, a gallon of it, I'm coming back with five gallons. And that's pretty much what that guy did. I mean, the way, hey, you shut that off, what we're doing? What were you worried about it for, dude? You had a job to do. You shouldn't even have been paying attention to me. You were trying to get that piece of crap 720 John Deere to start before it sold. Well, was it yours? Oh, you've seen my channel? You didn't like it? When you come at me and I have the letter of the law on my side and you're in the wrong, I'm going to make you look dumb. You know, and, and I don't want to be in the business where all I'm doing is making people look dumb all day. I mean, there are those YouTube channels. But just know this. When you go to an auction, when you go to a tractor pull, when you go to an antique tractor show of any type, where the public's invited, man, woman, child, some people even bring their dogs on a leash. The law says there is no expectation to privacy, to include the fact that in 2023, most auctions are being videoed, and for good reason. You renege on the bid? Oh, I didn't bid 20 grand. Okay, let's watch the auction and see what you bid. Sure enough there, look, you bid 20 grand. Legal, legally binding now, you owe it. And that's happened, not a lot, but once would be too many. And so, you know, I, I ain't mad, I'm not going back there, but I ain't mad about it. The, 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 the item that I want, I'm just having somebody else buy it. And I just won't go back, that's the way it works. You know, it was my, it was my, very first time going to that auction, a couple people talked me into it. Finally, I was like, yeah, yeah, I need to go. They did have some red power there, and I am gonna show you the results too, by the way. And, and one more thing, you know, I don't just go to these auctions with camera in hand and, and the ability to edit a video and upload it on YouTube. I'm a customer. I buy things. Two weeks I've spent $11,000 in two weeks. And I have more to spend. I want to go to these auctions. I want to build my arsenal up. There's just certain places I don't get a warm and fuzzy. And for unfortunately, first impressions are lasting ones. So let's go into the results. All right, the 450. It was a pretty decent 450. Um, again, I've only ever seen two sell at auction. This was the second one other than the LP. Thirty-two fifty. I didn't think that was bad. And then we go right into the Super A. I believe this sold for twenty-seven fifty. This was a nice tractor. It was definitely worth that. Somebody put just a little bit into it and made it a runner. Good little mower. The four bottom fast hitch plow went for 250 bucks. Wes, I hope that was you because you're about to at least double your money. 250 bucks. I mean, it was probably worth that close to per bottom. Uh, 